Well, good morning, everybody. It is Good Friday. Oh, and which is an interesting thought because you got to wonder, like, did the disciples think it was Good Friday? Like, did they think it was good? They're scattered. They're um, doubting. They're wondering. They're uh, afraid. They're scared. They're Peter. I mean, literally, he can't even speak to a, a little servant girl and tell who he was or who he was with and. They're coming off of supposedly this just amazing intimate time, right, with Jesus where they've had their feet washed, where they've been embraced, where they've taken communion together, they've eaten a meal together. This is the midst of Holy Week, of Passover, of this reminder of all God has done. And now fear, desperation, wondering, it's almost as if every impact of sin comes to the surface. All the anxiety, all the fear, all the pain, and even with that, all the shame. Because I'm often, I want to paint myself in a better light than it is to think that I wouldn't have been like them, but, you know, I'm challenged by Thomas Goodwin. He said that Judas heard every sermon Jesus ever preached. And I'm like, man, proximity isn't the same thing as being in the presence of God. Proximity isn't the same thing as having the peace of God. That It's not about doing the right things and saying the right things and going the right places. And my fear with Holy Week, with Lent, with some of you that I've got to interact with, it's our fear with liturgy, uh, liturgy, I'm sorry, or religious practices as we get kind of worried like, why don't we just go through the motions? And you either have to numb yourself or you just deny it and go, what's the point? I don't get it. And on both sides, we miss, we miss the point. We miss what really is going on, what really is taking place. And the question I'm asking tonight as we gather at 7 p.m. for Good Friday is, why does this matter? Why does the death of Jesus matter? It's tragic. It's horrendous. It's painful. It's something that causes me to want to turn my head away. But death happens every day. Abuse happens every day. We fear death. But yet Paul says this. This is 1 Corinthians 15 after he's laid out of first importance at the beginning of the chapter. He says this is of first importance. And he lays out the story that we find in Scripture, the good news of the gospel, of the life, death, and resurrection of Christ. And then he goes into what that resurrection means. And there's a lot of imagery and a lot of mystery and a lot of uh, that just invokes the imagination, which we're going to tap into tonight as well. But then he says this. He says, when the perishable puts on the imperishable, that means that when our frailty, our, um, our just limited morality, our fact that we're mortal is replaced with imperishable, as we were intended, that death is the result of sin. When the moral puts on the Im immorality, immortality then shall come to pass the saying as it is written death is swallowed up in victory oh death where is your victory oh death where is your sting like death where's your power because it, we would learn in romans that the gospel has the power of salvation the sting of death is sin and the power of sin is law but thanks be to god who gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Why does this matter? If I believe the death of Jesus not only happened historically, but I believe the meaning, the motive, the backing, the reason that Jesus died, how would that not just change what I do and how I live and how I see people, how would that change who I am? How would it actually live to, how actually would it look like to live with thanks to God who gives victory. Not victory politically, not victory over, over my neighbors and our fence dispute, not victory over, which I don't have one by the way, but you know, not victory over our boss or victory over that coach or victory over that team, but victory over what actually is going on. When we look at our life, we settle for far too less. We think of ourselves far too little and we make the gospel far too small. So today I want to encourage you, read the crucifixion story. Watch Chosen, watch The Passion. Rest in the shadow of the cross. And why does it matter? 
And what does it mean to you? To hear Jesus say the words, it is finished. What's finished? God, thank you so much that today in a lot of ways is horrific. But it reminds us that the impact of sin is horrific. Separation from you is horrific. Death is horrific. It's painful. It's, I'm afraid, I'm anxious, I'm worried. All things that I am when I'm distant from you. So God, help me to draw near. Help me to drips of your to feel the drips of blood and sweat off the cross onto my skin. And with each one, know that sin is being washed away, that death is being defeated. And Father, may I hear the words, forgive them, for they know not what they have done. May I hear the words, it is finished. And may I believe them. God, thank you. Thank you that we are more than conquerors through your son, Jesus. And it's in his name we pray, amen. Love you guys, praying for you, pray for me tonight, 7 p.m. Get online, bring friends, can't wait to see you. Love you guys, see you tonight.